how are small black holes or just supermassive uh, black holes formed? It's just so people could kind of load that in. Mm, are they? Are yeah. they all? Is it always a star? No. So this is also why it's important to think of black holes more abstractly. They are something very profound in the universe, and there are probably multiple ways to make black holes. Um, making them with stars is most plentiful. There could be hundreds of millions, maybe even a billion black holes in our Milky Way galaxy alone. That many stars. It's only about 1% of stars that will... Um, end their lives in, in, in a death state that is a black hole. But we now see, and this was really quite a surprise, that there are supermassive black holes. There are billions or even hundreds of billions of times the mass of the sun, and um, uh, millions to, to tens of billions, maybe even hundreds of billions. So extremely massive. We don't think that the universe has had enough time to make them from stars that just merge. We know that two black holes can merge and make a bigger black hole, and then those can merge and make a bigger black hole. But we don't think there's been enough time for that. So it's suspected that they're formed very early, maybe even a hundred, few hundred million years after the Big Bang, and that they're formed directly by collapsing out of primordial stuff, mm. that there's a direct collapse right into the black hole. So like in the, in the very early universe, these are primordial black holes from the, well, the stars different. not quite, yeah. wait, how, how do you get from that soup black <laughs> holes right away? Right, so it's odd, but it's weirdly easier to make a big black hole out of something that's just the density of air, if it's really, really as big as what we're talking about. So in some sense, if they're just allowed to directly collapse very early in the universe's history, they can do that more easily. Um, and it's so much so that we think that there's one of these supermassive black holes in the center of every galaxy. Mm -hmm. So they're not rare, and we know where they are. They're in the nuclei of galaxies. So they're bound to the very early formation of entire galaxies in a, in a really surprising and deeply connected way. I wonder if the, like the chicken or the egg, is it uh, like how critical, how essential are the supermassive black holes to the formation of galaxies? Mm. Yeah, I mean, it's ongoing, right? It's ongoing, which came first, yeah. the black hole or the galaxy? Um, probably um, big early stars, which were just made out of, hydrogen and helium from the Big Bang. Um, there wasn't anything else, not much of anything else. Um, those early stars were forming, and then maybe the black holes and kind of the galaxies were like these gassy clouds around them. Um, but there's probably a deep relationship between the black hole powering jets, these jets blowing material out of the galaxy that, that shaped galaxies, maybe kind of curbed their growth. Um, and so I think the mechanisms are still are still ongoing uh, attempts to understand exactly the ordering of these things.